Hey everyone, so last week I got my first ever sub 10 single on a 3x3, which I was super excited about. It was my goal to try and achieve by the end of 2019, which I managed to do in October. Woohoo! If getting sub 10s is like child's play for you, you have my full permission to stop watching this video right now, because you probably won't gain a lot from it. Go YouTube like, I don't know, cats playing the piano or something. But a bunch of you did ask if I could do a reconstruction. And if you think this might help you, then continue watching. So the scramble's just on the screen, and it's this. I'm a white cross solver. So instantly I noticed that one green edge is in, orange, blue, and red. Orange is in place to go in right away. So I held it this way to start. A um, D2 to get orange in place. And then I should have done something like this, moving, moving them both and I could get it in that way. That would have been so much better. <laughs> However, I was pretty tired when I did this solve. Um, so my cross solution uh, was not as elegant. I did an F prime to insert blue, and then I did an F again to get red ready to go in, um, a D, and then I inserted red. Not at all as elegant as my other one, but eh, it worked. I noticed as I was putting red in that the blue red edge was right here and instantly thought, oh man, it would be so amazing if I find the blue red edge because you know that would be a really easy um, insert. And as luck would have it, it was right there. It meant that I then had to sort of undo that move, unfortunately, to insert it. Uh, but this is a really simple insert, which most of you probably know of already, but I wanted to show you what it looked like. When you get the edge matching um, the color here and the white sticker facing this way, in this case, it's two sexy moves and that's it. This of course works on the other side as well so um, if had the white sticker been facing this way I just match red up over here turn so it faces this way and then do two sexy moves on the left. I should also say that if the white sticker was facing uh, front it's also really easy to solve so if the color matches there you can pair it up just like that and then just insert it. And of course that applies if it's facing uh, this way too. So make sure that that edge is matched up uh, with the side that it should go on, white sticker facing this way, and then just like that. Okay, back to the solve. So I noticed that, the two sexy moves. And as I was doing that, I was tracking um, the orange and green pair uh, because I saw the white sticker in the top and noticed very conveniently it was completely set up ready to go. Put that in, as that happened, I saw this white um, with a little flash of white, knew that the white corner was there. Also saw that that um, edge was uh, oriented incorrectly. So did that, took it out that way to pair it up, rotate it this way, uh, and instantly saw this flash of white here. So I knew that that was, you know, that was facing me. Inserted that, and I knew that I would have to rotate because I needed to line that red up over there. So rotate it, um, put that in, like that example I showed you before, two left sexies soon and a skip. The funny thing was this actually came after a series of pretty bad solves, so I wasn't expecting anything amazing. When I dropped the cube and saw nine seconds, um, I actually thought it was a mistake. Double check the scramble and everything, and then it dawned on me, I did it. I actually got my very first sub 10 solve. But I will say that my next goal is probably to get uh, a sub 10 solve that's full step with no escapes. I've managed to get like a, a 10.5, I think, that was full step, and I was really, really proud of. In some ways, maybe even more proud of than this. Uh, but yeah, that will be fantastic. So I think the main lesson to take away here is the importance of a smooth flow, you know, that transition from the cross all the way through the F2 world stages, uh, recognizing cases really quickly and just carrying them out uh, using muscle memory, not having to think too hard about it. And then if you happen to get a lucky solve, well, that's when it all comes together. All the best with your cubing endeavors as well. Remember that it's not about the numbers, it's about the joy. Although the numbers are pretty cool as well. <laughs> See you in the next video.